Growing crystals is kitchen science. It's cool. It's a little weird, and it's edible. And even though junior scouts are only asked to grow one kind of crystal, I found several recipes online and tried my hand at a few using various salts and sugar and baking soda. All the recipes follow pretty much the basic same formula. You boil some water, add as much of the core ingredient as you can until no more will dissolve. You suspend a pipe cleaner in a glass container, pour the hot solution into the glass, add a little food coloring for the fun of it, and let those babies alone to grow. There was one total failure. The Epsom salt recipe produced nothing. Nada. This was the recipe from the Girl Scout handbook too, but I actually don't think I fault the recipe. Those salts were a few years old and, well, you know what, they may have lost their zip. And of course, Epsom salts are milder than most other salts. They're not as caustic and, and that may have had an effect on the outcome. So I repeated the Girl Scout recipe using plain old table salt. And as you can see, it produced some groovy crystals after just a few days. The other salt recipe called for the addition of vinegar with the final mixture poured over a sponge. These results kind of freaked me out. Now I used kosher salt for this experiment. And as the water in the solution evaporated, the vinegar remained and provided a curious moist acidic medium for the growth to continue. And within a week, crystals not only covered the sponge and the plate, but had grown over the edges of the plate to the underside. Ew. But both experiments suggest that when crystals are growing, they naturally take on the general size and shape of the crystals in the original liquid medium. The table salt experiment produced the same small crystals that you would shake under your fries, while the kosher salt medium produced crystals more in line with the size of, well, you know, kosher salt. So what about the baking soda? This one kind of blew my mind for the sheer speed with which crystals began to form. This all happened within a day. It's the perfect experiment for people in a hurry, but be warned, if you do this one, remember, baking soda will release carbon dioxide gas when it hits the hot water, causing it to bubble up pretty furiously. Scared the bejesus out of me, frankly, because I wasn't expecting it, but just look how cool this finished product is. I saved my personal favorite for last. I wanted to grow my own rock candy because it was a complete favorite as a kid. Any excuse to indulge even just a little in the name of scout science seems reasonable to me. And as it happens, though, we didn't have any white sugar in the house. Now, on the whole, I'd say the absence of refined sugar is a good thing, and we should probably keep it that way. But scouting in the shelves, I bumped into a box of brown sugar. Lumpy, yes, but crystals in there, too, so I gave it a shot creating a molasses-like syrup so thick and sweet, I just I wanted to make a batch of pancakes. Now with all of these mixtures, it's important to pay attention to crystals that might be growing on the bottom or along the sides of the glass. You want your crystals to cling to that pipe cleaner. So when you notice sugar crystals or salt crystals forming along the bottom of the glass, pour the liquid mixture into a clean glass. Move your pipe cleaner over there. It really will help your growth. And now, allow me to enjoy this rock candy while you look at another set of images from quick growing baking soda crystals. I cooked up this solution, seriously, five minutes before I sat down to pull together this blog post and video. And here's the rapid crystallization of my goofy pipe cleaner snowman. Straight up solution, now the crystals are forming, and now I've got to move the solution into a second glass because the crystals on the bottom have just blossomed. And now here's our snowman in just a couple of hours. Thanks for checking out this week's fun science. And y'all will excuse me while I go back to tackling this rock candy the same way I would tackle a good rib. The soda water fountain Where the lemonade springs And the bluebird sings In that big rock candy